re-elected less than a year ago. President Dilma Rousseff is having a hard time keeping Brazilians happy. Thousands of protesters took to the streets for the third time this year on Sunday, chanting Dilma out. A recent poll by Tata Folha revealed what many people suspected. The approval ratings of the first female Brazilian president had hit an all-time low of 8%. What happened? Two things, a downturn in the economy and widespread corruption. After the October elections, financial analyst Antonio Porto criticized Rousseff's ability to manage the economy for a second term. He also criticized her policies that created inflation without growth. The big problem is that, as you said, inflation. Because she had a country with in controlled inflation. Inflation in Brazil is something that's very sensible. And she managed to produce inflation. How come? And with zero growth. <laughs> She's really <laughs> a very incompetent thing. Because if you have a, a inflation but a 10% growth, no, zero growth in inflation. According to a Pew Research Center survey, Brazilians' views on the economy have changed dramatically over the five years Rousseff has been in office. Those who said Brazil's economy was doing well fell from 62 to 13 percent, and those who said the economy was doing badly rose from 36 to 87 percent. Brazil is facing its worst economic downturn in 25 years. What's more, a major investigation called Operation Car Wash is underway. Its alleged state-owned oil company Petrobras and some of Brazil's largest construction firms collaborated with 50 current and former politicians in a corruption scheme. Rousseff promised in October to change legislation and fight corruption, but many Brazilians now think she fell short. <laughs> An investigation has also been launched into claims of corruption and overpricing, this time about the building of a stadium used during the World Cup last year. The construction company's president has already been charged with money laundering and corruption over the Petrobras case, which he denies. Rousseff's popularity is the lowest for any Brazilian president since Tata Folha started polling in 1987. 66% of people it questioned said she should face impeachment. Because we already have the legal grounds for that, and it's up to the population to prove that this country can't stand it anymore.